Prostate cancer can be hard to detect, and a biopsy is the only way to find it. But traditional biopsies can be hit or miss. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says there's a better way that's like GPS for the prostate, Dr. Max. Yeah, that's right. You know, in the sense that it helps guide doctors to where the cancer is hiding in the prostate, it is sort of like GPS, but you're obviously not getting satellite signals in your prostate. Now, without that guidance, men often undergo multiple biopsies trying to find that cancer. 69-year-old Eric Langston spent three years trying to figure out if he had prostate cancer. I had three prostate biopsies, and all of them came back benign. He says, we need to do another biopsy. I said, I told you last time I'm through with biopsies. But Eric's doctor worried that his PSA test results suggested that prostate cancer might still be hiding somewhere. So Eric traveled to Cleveland Clinic for another test called a fusion-guided biopsy. There's no question that doing fusions is more accurate and has found a lot of tumors that we might otherwise have missed. Traditionally, an ultrasound probe is used to direct sampling of different areas of the prostate. But ultrasound can't usually see cancer, so the biopsies are random. Fusion-guided biopsy is like a GPS for the prostate. It fuses detailed MRI images with live, real-time ultrasound to help guide doctors right to the suspicious areas. We're more likely to find a higher grade cancer that we want to know about and less likely to find a low grade cancer that we don't want to know about. And we're more likely to appropriately biopsy areas of the prostate that we normally wouldn't biopsy. Eric's fusion guided biopsy zeroed in on suspicious areas which tested positive for prostate cancer. And this past spring, he had his prostate removed. Yeah, everything panned out the way he said it would, I think. And uh, I'm happy with the results. Two visits are necessary for the fusion-guided biopsy, one for the MRI and another for the biopsy itself. Fusion biopsy may still miss about 15% of high-grade cancers, but that's still far better than the present method of firing needles randomly into the prostate. The system is now making its way into major medical centers in the New York area and around the country. Good to hear. Yep. Thank, Thank you, Doc. Thank sure. you, Dr. Max.